Okay, so now I want to present you the objects of the new updated version of the architect mod. You start with the button H and now you have the mod enabled. You see in the top left corner there are uh, 30, <laughs> 30, 3047 objects um, to build. So this is 10 times the original amount of objects from the original mod. So uh, yeah, you will have a lot of objects to use, a lot of objects uh, which are um, sometimes easy to see, sometimes a little bit harder to explain. So this is why I give this quick overview uh, or over the objects. And uh, yeah, I start with the town book. You uh, already knows, notice it. Then you have the grindstone. People already know it. And then I have a table just to present some stuff. I will build one, two, maybe three. So you have uh, some objects to place on it, uh, smaller objects and you can see it quicker. So I have this um, large um, vertical beam. Uh, I often use to construct um, stuff, um, to build stuff uh, on it. I will just put a few here. So yeah, I can make things, objects um, hovering on, on these beams so it will be easier to see uh, what to build. So yeah, just a quick way to have a construction um, um, object. <coughs> so uh, it's like in real life where you first have to uh, uh, construct uh, some uh, kind of uh, scaffolding and <laughs> some uh, beams where you can hold your uh, stuff on it wh what you want to build so yeah uh, this is the first um, objects in the list <coughs> so it would be easier for you to find them because they are on, on the, in the first place so then we have the uh, different letters you can see um, they are already built in, in the first mod and uh, they are in the first place of the object list. So then uh, we start uh, with the chests. Um, they are the m original ones uh, um, as you can see and then uh, yeah, you can use them as a chest. Yeah, You can walk on them, open them, put things in them and these are the chests from the original mod from the game. Uh, architect mod and then uh, you can have uh, I added a lot of other chests so here yeah we have a, a rabbit barrow another rabbit barrow uh, a mole hill yeah and then um, you have uh, some a lot of objects you can use as a stash yeah so they are in the in the first list of the game so yeah uh, some bags some uh, some baskets, just a, a lot of bags you can use. Um, then sometimes you will see uh, a hanging bag with the with the ro with the small rope. You can use uh, some bigger bags. Then I have uh, this uh, bookshelf, um, a books stand. You can use as a as a, a secret uh, chest. Uh, some with scrolls. <laughs> you have this arms box where you can uh, put money in for the church, but you can al also use it as a chest. Um, yeah, here you have a uh, a boot you can use as a chest. Some dirty rags in a ba in a basket. So yeah, some um, broken barrel. Then you will have this hangman you can put on somewhere as a chest also um, yeah it doesn't look so good now because it's not a uh, it's not a, a vertical beam but 
then you have this hanging dude he's also dead but you can use it as a chest you have a lot of uh, carcasses you can use as a chest whatever and then <coughs> the most uh, important thing is you can have this little ring of silver I don't know if you see it it's very small there you have it you can put it anywhere you want it and you can use it as a stash so if you see uh, all the time you walk up these objects it will say öffnen it says open in, in English uh, öffnen in German and you can see uh, you can all use them as stashes and now you have the table here you can see no opening uh, no open uh, uh, a code and then I put this ring here you can see it it will be almost Im uh, invisible and that's great because sometimes you want to make something a stash that's already there and you don't want to put a new object so you put this ring there it's always some some uh, most of the time invisible uh, wherever you put it and you put it there it's constructed and now you have a chest in the table yeah you have a chest there you don't know you don't see it really yeah you can you can have it as a chest you can maybe use uh, any object any object from the mod list um, that is not a chest it's just an object and you can put a ring on it <laughs> and then you can use it as a chest so yeah uh, all the other objects here are just um, for uh, yeah uh, uh, example chest so yeah okay these are chests from the beginning then some um, supplies uh, in, in, in bags as stuff you can use uh, just for example because there will be a lot of more of these objects later in the list and you can just put a ring on it or just put another bag there and then you have a chest so yeah um, the original beer barrel that generates beer a honey beehive uh, different beehives then you have uh, fish uh, salt water milk dried mushrooms uh, cabbage fish onions apples and so on and so on uh, these ovens uh, are to bake bread um, dried meat you can have and then you can build uh, arrows here um, so I put all the objects who have function uh, at the beginning and then you can use them in a different uh, all in, in their way and sometimes uh, you will notice these objects uh, from the first mod so um, okay so now I will start hovering because now the big objects are going to come because I um, put um, the bigger uh, base objects from buildings at the beginning so this is uh, the way you can start your uh, constructions by having first um, basic floor elements and then come uh, the other objects so yeah okay we start I start hovering so I have a better view and then uh, you can see already I have these large uh, ter terrain elements um, from the um, from the uh, uh, mud basement um canal element ah yeah okay so canal but mud base so uh you can always use these um beams to correctly place your stuff because sometimes it's underneath the surface of the earth so you can put it here on a on a on a beam and then you can put it where you want it so yeah I just maybe put it here 
so that you can see the object. <coughs> That's just a canal mud base. Uh, then you have um, a lot of um, these soil and uh, other elements. These these are bigger uh, terrain uh, elements you are able to use. Uh, they are really big, so they are perfect for building castle um, bases. Sometimes they are a little bit uh, confusing to use. Um, like, uh, you can't really see where you put it. But you will work around. If you want to use them, uh, you will find a way. Sometimes these objects are, like, uh, huge uh, and... and uh, um, uh, contain a lot of uh, uh, pieces like as you can see here um, this is like a from the uh, mill sometimes it's from different uh, uh, buildings in the world th uh, which contain more um, objects so yeah a little bit you have to walk around it you will find out what you want to use. So yeah, okay, this is... Uh, and then you have a little uh, smaller terrain um, uh, uh, canal objects, sometimes these uh, dam objects, water dam, uh, and uh, as you can see now, uh, this is like uh, a terrain base uh, from like when you walk on different uh, walls uh, on uh, ways uh, paths you have these as walls on the side you can put it down uh, put them down most of the time they are actually um, hovering above the earth so they will um, fit together with the ground sometimes you have to work around and I put the notice to these objects uh, where you can look for uh, you can search for land under score deco uh, in the console and you will find them because they are <coughs> these are just for the start to have a terrain base but there are a lot of a lot of these later in the list in the nature section so yeah um, <clears throat> yeah you can have all these objects to build so yeah okay this is some uh, some mossy terrain this is just uh, a large uh, not a large it's it's a small decal um, moss object and when you turn it around it will stay in its place so that's very cool you if you have a um, if you want to fill out some ground in a in an in a in a in a building you can just fill it in with these uh, decal patches okay so then there come a lot of uh, uh, just uh, earth related bases a lot of different stuff sometimes with uh, uh, roots attached sometimes they have these little stairs in it <coughs> but you will uh, look for them yourself sometimes you have these uh, from the uh, Scarlet's place uh, where they have the mines, the mining shaft entrances. They are really cool because they have these holes in it sometimes and you can use them as entrances for yourself to have uh, a ladder in it or a staircase. Ah, ich muss etwas zu essen besorgen. Okay, so Hen Henry <laughs> gets a little hungry. Um, I just uh, make it quick. So yeah, you have all these... Uh, different objects you will look for the you can look for themselves uh, for them yourself so you have 
these church uh, backyards, these big yards, and then um, sometimes water streams. They are a little bit harder to understand, but sometimes uh, they are uh, perfectly perfectly fitting into each other. <coughs> but you will work it out. So yeah, okay. Now come a lot of walls. This is Procop's uh, basement, uh, unfinished. But you can uh, build them in a in a in a in a way. If you know where to have it, you can build it there and then uh, you see it's part one part two part three part four because it's the it's all fitting together at the same position you want to build it so yeah uh, this is um, some ruins yeah you will see it you will see it and uh, the best way to see all this stuff is to have these beams for construction because sometimes it's underneath the floor and you will have to uh, pull them up to see them Ooh. so so yeah then you will have a lot of uh, ruin elements to use and then a lot of caves it looks a little bit strange, but if you if you notice uh, where you when you put it there, and then I go inside, you will see. Whoop, I'm now inside the cave. The walls are uh, solid. <laughs> so. Yeah, building caves is, is a little bit strange. Okay, now I have to feed my friend here. Look what we have. Okay, the bread is already a little bit old, but I think he will can have some of them. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm hovering again. Just for the purpose of seeing all the objects um, yeah you have all these big walls I used for my castle also sometimes you have to pull them up on these construction beams or you maybe find another way this tower is a little bit uh, tricky because it's containing uh, different parts to use so it's a large tower and when you know you want to build it build it here yes build it where you have want to have it uh, or, or, or hover it where you want to have it and then you have to build it in this place build it and then you have to um, Build the same uh, in the same place. You have to build uh, the other object that fits in it. So here you can see uh, the inside of the tower, and it will be in the same position where you build the outer part. So I will make a tutorial on that. <coughs> but there are these towers, which are completely uh, completely uh, filled. Sometimes uh, there's uh, um, only um, a small step in the floor missing, like you can see here, but that's not the greatest problem. Um, and then uh, you can build inside whatever you want. So, yeah. A lot of big objects. Uh, sometimes these are uh, objects 
which are um, part of another object so they will have all these open um, walls where you can see through uh, you have to work around that build something else on the side uh, uh, um, um, build some large rock wall or something to fill this up fill this gap and then you can uh, yeah use it as a as a um, as a uh, uh, as a building <laughs> which is not uh, partially open so now we have all these different um, palisade walls I will just walk through it fast a lot of objects a lot of objects fences Yeah, it's sorted out so you have a lot of beams, just beams and um, uh, boards and <coughs> planks. <coughs> um, a lot of objects you can use, a lot of scaffolding, um, some gates sometimes uh, wooden objects a lot of objects then you then they uh, start to uh, the objects become more and more um, built so you have all these uh, different wooden objects uh, bridges um, platforms then uh, staircases, a lot of different ones. Small, the smaller ones you know, then the bigger ones. Ooh. So yeah, you can. These are all objects you can use. They are all solid so far. Um, there are just some objects who are not solid, and those are mostly the uh, objects which are not deletable so yeah you can have this kind of object which is a, um, a basement and the basement is actually uh, it's not It's not solid and you can see you are in the object so you have to find a way to work around so that you can walk up this if you want to use it just build something underneath and then you can have uh, some new staircase inside here if you want to have this because I find this very beautiful to use but it's not solid so sometimes you have to build additional wall uh, outside here that you can't see from the inside but then you will get stuck on here because it's a wall okay uh, yeah so now as I stated you can't delete this one it's uh, already built and you can't delete it so be careful uh, you can see uh, I, I put the warning here a tavern basement cellar not deletable save game before placing so I put this on every object that's not um, safe to use yeah then you have all these different basements uh, they are Uh, at first they are uh, underneath the ground but you can use them wherever you want you will you will find a way to use them uh, now we start to see the uh, basements which are also uh, house bases you can build on top of it 
there are a lot of different ones some bigger ones some smaller ones and they have these small doors you will notice them from taverns and stuff so sometimes you have these <coughs> this is already oh, still a base but it's also uh, a cellar so yeah some some of these mill basements uh, and then they uh, start to be basements which have no uh, or they are bases with no basement so with no cellar yeah. then you have these buildings at first which are not accessible sometimes they are sometimes they're not so like this building you will walk inside uh, whoops you can walk inside but it's from the inside it's like uh, not accessible uh, not see you do, you won't see any uh, the walls are solid but um, yeah sometimes you would see it uh, but a lot of objects are just uh, for decoration yeah these buildings are decorations and sometimes I, I, I they are two parts so this is uh, the down part first floor and then there comes the the roof attached to it but it's a separate object so yeah uh, some bigger houses and sometimes you see them uh, oops yeah okay I will scroll down you could see them yourselves uh, in case you're wondering sometimes my uh, my system is not running so well so you don't see all objects but every object is perfectly uh, perfectly installed in the mod so it's uh, just for presentation purposes yeah you can see sometimes I put these objects here so this is one big object you notice it from the Sasso place it is the whole uh, city front uh, from from Sa from Sasso no not from Sasso uh, from Ratai but it's in separate parts so you have to walk around I will make a tutorial on that maybe okay so then they have these build building elements this is from Sazo the monastery two parts but it's always um, in description if you not know how to use it okay these are like the bigger building parts and then you can now get the smaller parts this is a toilet I added sometimes it's not working sometimes it's it's working and the end uh, you can take a little time on it and you can read a book if you want to <laughs> so this is this and now I get these already are already oops so now yeah I made my own mistake You have these tents, a lot of tents, some of the original mod. Then you get these smaller sheds. Sometimes they have these entrances, sometimes they are two parts. The house and this uh, is like the entrance to the house. Uh, a lot of roofs, um, then all the different sheds uh, attentions extensions uh, sometimes it's only a base sometimes it's uh, a wall you have different stables stalls a lot of roofs sheds hay barns sometimes it's only roofs but these roofs are hovering 
uh, in the second floor so you can easily build something underneath it then there are a lot of doors a lot of different doors to use a lot of wells for water different uh, bathing uh, objects so you can have like a bathtub and then you can put some towel but the problem with the towels is it's not uh, these are not deletable but you will see it it's always written in the description Okay, so yeah, these are the smaller objects, a lot of tables, a lot of different uh, shop stands, sta tables, then the benches. Uh, sometimes you can have these log benches where you can sit on. You have these different chairs, a lot of beds, sometimes you will notice them sometimes not a lot of uh, different shelves yeah, sometimes it's stuff you can hang on so you won't see them at first but then later you can put them uh, on the on the on the ceiling so yeah a lot of uh, supply shelves full of supplies just as I uh, stated in the beginning you can put something there another bag or uh, the ring the magic ring so you can make this a stash and put your stuff in there hide something hide your treasure sometimes you have uh, these two type uh, chests, so I I just I want to uh, make the inside of it, and then you put the outside of it. You have to wait, find a workaround. Sometimes you have to put the rec reticle at the same uh, position, and then you can put the other stuff inside. It's a little bit tricky, but you can work around it. Um, yeah, a lot of baskets, uh, buckets, bags, barrels, and then comes the forges, the ovens, a lot of different styles to build your buildings, ovens and cooking spots. And then, uh, yeah, we get into the cauldrons. All the plates, all the different plates, all the cups, all the different food you can have. So yeah, I just walk around this cave. <laughs> And then, yeah, you can see, these are just everything you can have to eat. Uh, at this point in time, uh, all these objects are not pickable, so you can't take them. But sometimes you can, uh, yeah, you can open open a bag or something and take it out whatever it's inside but uh, most of the time all these objects are not pickable it's not already implant implemented then there are a lot of small objects like money coins and stuff the little church it's everything it's in here all the books book stands paperwork And uh, all the tools you can have, all the tools, they all sorted here. 
sometimes they are not uh, on the surface and you have to look for them just find a work find a find a way to work around this is just here some scrapped wood from the wood uh, worker all the hammers nails uh, different tools you can use uh, metal objects and uh, yeah all the tools sometimes uh, you can't see them at first okay now come the cards uh, different uh, traps you can actually use to produce some fish uh, a lot of ropes and then uh, a lot of uh, these uh, weapons you can not use them at uh, this point in time uh, they are just for decoration all the swords all the axes and others um, maybe I will later find a way to make them uh, useful uh, to have a useful purpose but at this point they are just decoration okay so the, you see there are a lot of them and uh, yeah so a lot of them objects are uh, just uh, to be for decoration all the clothes armor yeah, I find them very beautiful just to put them somewhere as you can see the boots uh, then you have the cloth section where every uh, little piece of cloth cloth sometimes a towel uh, is put they are mostly not deletable so you have to watch this uh, closely in the description you see they're not deletable most of them most of the cloth is not deletable so if you put it somewhere you can not delete it sometimes maybe I sometimes forget it but most of the time I okay at this uh, particular point I will change it in the final version uh, because sometimes the cloth most of the time the cloth is not deletable <coughs> so okay yeah a lot of uh, carpets and stuff from the merchants who sell stuff uh, yeah here comes the <coughs> the hives then the broken idols a lot of idols uh, all the stones crosses graves little monuments uh, then a lot of piles of stuff uh, wood and a lot of wood uh, debris just branches and uh, yeah just stuff that is lying around natural stuff tree logs and stuff broken stuff everything that is just uh, additional decoration and uh, natural uh, organic organic uh, stuff so yeah a lot of uh, bitten apples spider webs a lot of these uh, smaller objects which serve uh, just decoration purposes dead people dead animals uh, animals in general uh, are not featured but um, carcasses corpses and skulls and stuff bones then you have these uh yeah, everything that is just organ organic rubbish, trash, broken stuff, broken 
building elements, burnt, burnt stuff. Uh, and then, um, uh, yeah, just rubble and debris, stones. And then uh, the last objects in the list are all the stones, all the different smaller stones at first, and then they get bigger and bigger and bigger. As you can see, I have these mossy stones, which are already large. Then you have these larger stones, uh, which are actually big huge rocks they are as I stated before in the other video they are sometimes from one side solid and the other side open but they are still solid inside but you can look through them and they are huge yeah so you have to find a way to use them <laughs> in a proper way because they are actually they are huge Okay, so yeah, uh, these are the rocks, a lot of rocks, and they are bigger and in different shape, different styles, sometimes, and then there are waterfalls implemented in that, very neat, uh, some water, also different water elements. Um, mostly not deletable so yeah uh, then you will have uh, some tunnels rock rock tunnels you'll find a way to to see them use them uh, yeah, this, this big large element here uh, mining shafts And then some uh, nature elements. Yeah, you have these puddles where the sun is reflecting in it. Very neat. Different styles and soil, and then uh, yeah, some mushrooms, and then a lot of trees, a lot of trees, 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 trees. So many trees. Uh, a lot of nature elements, um, different shapes, different sizes, sometimes not deletable, you have to look for them before you place them. Uh, bushes, um, a lot of bushes, then smaller terrain patches, most of the time. Uh, they are deletable sometimes not and then all the flowers are not deletable the flowers have no collision they are not deletable <laughs> so yeah um, but they look beautiful to you so you will be using them here are some uh, wine um, patches you can have on walls uh, yeah, a lot of tree trunks, branches, fallen trees. Trunks again. Uh, yeah. And these mossy uh, uh, root you can build. Sometimes just leaves. Uh, s small branches and uh, yeah as I've stated they have these huge land deco elements <coughs> which fit into the nature perfectly if you oopala, if you use them correct you can uh, fit them perfectly into nature and they have these uh, sometimes not perfectly but you will work you will work around you can walk on them and have these as building bases so yeah 
great. Uh, different styles, different sizes. Smaller ones, bigger ones. Um, perfectly for having um, walled up buildings, higher buildings which are not easily accessible uh, for enemies and yeah a lot of soil path uh, flower elements and um, yeah that's probably it for now I left these uh, funny objects inside the mod if you want to have them and this was just a, a short, I hope, quick overview of all the objects. You will look for them yourselves. And um, this is for it. You will have all the objects in the new updated version of the Architect mod by DataFrame. Um, so yeah, have fun.